Today we're going to make pumpkin pie spice. Super easy. Obviously, it's just a combination of different spices that I've whisked together. Um, and they're perfect for using in my pumpkin pie roll or pumpkin pie oatmeal or um, you can even substitute it in pumpkin pie recipe. So let's start with the cinnamon because there's the most of that. I use two tablespoons of cinnamon. So cinnamon is life to me. Um, and so I do not skip on the cinnamon. So I like the shape of measuring spoon because that way it's easier to get into the jar if you've ever had like a round one and you're like why do they make this size and shape because you can't actually fit it in the jar very frustrating so anyways you get like too much on top right do um, and then I take the excess and I usually do it in like parchment or paper towel or something and then I just kind of whoop, just funnel it back into the jar for the next baking experience the next place is ginger, um, and I use four teaspoons of that, which is also a tablespoon and one teaspoon. Next, we're gonna do cloves. So I do one teaspoon of ground cloves, um, and then I've got nutmeg here. I'm gonna use a, a half a teaspoon. Now, I am not a giant fan of nutmeg, fun fact. Um, so, if you are and you like that potent, that nutmeggy taste, then you can absolutely use like three quarters of a teaspoon or something like that, or even a teaspoon, but it's it's definitely, it's aggressive. And then the last is allspice. Um, I love allspice. It's really like one of those sneaky ingredients that just adds so much depth. Um, so I'm gonna use a half a teaspoon of that. And then I'm going to use my favorite tool in the kitchen, a baby whisk. I have like a whole drawer for all of these, and this is not even the smallest one, so... Anyway, and then we're just gonna whisk it together. And that's it. Now we're done. Um, and we're gonna put it in our jar here. So I've got my paper bag, um, and I'm just gonna use it as a funnel to get it into my jar. Um, you can save this in any sort of container. An old spice jar works really well. So now we got our pumpkin pie spice, um, and we can put a top on it. And then it'll store in the cabinet for basically as long as your spices will, but I don't think it's going to last that long.